When you see his video, just know that houseplant doesn't normally live there. <laughs> it's the snow has been gone and done. Okay, so what we're gonna make are Rice crispy Christmas puddings. <laughs> you can't joke about that. Festive meatballs. <laughs> Come on now. It's got to that point in Vlogmas where we're hanging on by a thread. Guys, can you believe we're on day 18? I have to say, it's gone very quickly, like really quickly. And I'm only now just feeling tired. And usually I feel when I'm doing Vlogmas, I get like, I start getting like, whoa, this is intense around like day eight, nine, 10. Don't I, usually. I don't know if you remember. I think normally it's like, Day 12 is brutal. Really? What did we do on day 12? Do you think? I can't remember, but I just know sort of around day 8, 9 is when I used to be like, this is a lot. <laughs> How are you all? Me and Alfie were just looking at yesterday's video, reading some of the comments, uploading today's video, and I noticed I've had almost 10,000 new subscribers in the last couple of weeks and i don't really ever think about the fact that new people might stumble upon my channel i know that sounds absolutely ridiculous but i just feel a little bit like i'm that old timer kind of sat on the shelf gathering dust and <laughs> and the people that have been here for years and years might still be here but i don't expect new people to like come along and, and like start watching me but hello and hi if you are new around here how are you drop a comment below let me know your name your age where you're from what you're into i'd love to get to know a little bit about you as well we're a very lovely kind community over here we're all very nice to each other everyone will welcome you do you know what i'd also like to know which i always think there are certain different types of people on the internet. There are some, sorry, I do need to do my makeup as I'm talking to you because Alfie and I really don't have a lot of time today. <laughs> so this is gonna be the most sloppy makeup application in the world. I feel like there are different types of internet user. You're either a commenter or a silent watcher. And I am a silent watcher. I never comment anywhere, really. <laughs> I'm that person that, enjoys content and I smile away and I feel like I have personal connections with people I've never met and I have like my favorite YouTubers and my favorite people to follow on Instagram but I wouldn't say I always necessarily comment on Instagram. I definitely never, I couldn't even tell you the last time I left a comment on someone's YouTube video which is terrible because it does really mean a lot to the creators. You know it boosts the video in the algorithm and it's just nice to have that community space where you can kind of have a bit more of a conversation. But I'm terrible at it. I'm a silent watcher. What are you? I love a comment on a YouTube video. You, you leave comments? Yeah. Do you? Mm -hmm. That's so funny. I honestly reckon the last comment I left was on your video. <laughs> oh no, I never did, did I? I liked your video. You liked it. No, but I, because I watch quite niche YouTubers. Hmm. I'm always like, if somebody that followed me went onto that video and saw I commented they'd be like why is Alfie watching a man in the a man build a hut in the jungle <laughs> Alfie what is he does doing? he needs to he needs to go and look after his daughter Alfie does watch some really niche videos I have to say yeah and also it's just a nice way to show support isn't it to leave a comment so I am really terrible at it and I know I need to get better at it especially when I've really enjoyed a video or I feel like I have something that might help the person or I don't know, aid their life in some way. But I'd love to know if there's any of you that are silent watchers. Leave a comment. Just put, I must just put, I'm a silent watcher. What was that? Floorboard creak. Did you just fart? That's a floorboard. Well, you're gonna edit that out, aren't you? You're the editor. You're gonna edit out your own fart. Yeah, so let me know if you're not normally a silent watcher. Just put a little like hands up emoji. Anyway, I started this conversation because I just wanted to say hello to anyone new and I need to stop with the mentality that I'm just this like old fusty musty 
um, <laughs> YouTuber. No, I'm joking. Sort of. Have I just done that really badly? Well, yes, the answer to that is yes, Zoe, you have. Because you're rushing. Anyway, guys, today is going to be one of those days where the vlog's going to be... The vlog's going to be a little shorter because we've got a lot going on. I think as Christmas approaches, it's kind of blaringly obvious that where Alfie and I have been spending the month doing a lot of really fun, lovely things and we have enjoyed ourselves immensely, it means we are not doing the kind of more practical um, pre-Christmas things that we need to do in order to actually host Christmas. So we're doing Christmas at our house this year, which we do most years, don't we? Like, I feel like we have done for the last... When was the last time we did it? A have we ever done Christmas Day at your parents? Yeah, we did like a split Christmas. We did your family in Wiltshire and my parents and then drove in the middle of the day, like between the yeah. two. Yeah. It just feels like we've always done it at our house. But this year, this year feels extra special because not only do we have Alfie's family, which we've had for the last... Ooh. Since we've been in this house at least, so... 27 since 2017 we also have my mum her husband joe and my nan so it's gonna be a full house we've never hosted that many people but i just feel like christmas is one of those occasions where it's like the more the merrier do you know what i mean just like get everyone round squish around the table there's gonna be like more laughter more games we can play i don't know i just i love it you know I'm a big fan of Christmas, but I'm also just, one of my favorite things about Christmas time is just spending like really lovely quality time with people. And not that we don't get to do that normally, but it will just be really nice. I don't know, I'm just, I'm excited for it to be like, I don't know, more of us. I just think it's gonna be really good. But that does mean there's a little bit more we have to prepare for Christmas day and we're sort of not really done it yet. No. Focus mm. quite <laughs> focus quite a lot on the on the fun on stuff. The old vlogs and yeah. the fun stuff. We've already had a morning of Sorry, I can't talk and do my lipstick. So we've already had a morning of sorting out lots of bits and pieces. Poppy and Sean actually came over and Poppy sat with Otty while me, Alfie and Sean kind of ran around a little bit and that was super useful. And we managed to get so much done, but there is still a lot more. Just things like make the crackers, do the name places, set the table, get the cutlery out. Like, what do I want the table to look like? Wrap the presents. Um, I did actually do a food shop this morning online for a lot of the food. So I do, I think we'll be okay, but it does just mean the camera stays down for a little bit while we try and sort that out. So this afternoon, I thought it would be really nice to do some baking with Otty. And today's video will largely consist of me doing my makeup and chatting you which let's be real is most of my vlogs and baking with otty and i wanted to keep it kind of simple i won't ruin the surprise because you'll only have to wait like a couple of minutes before you see us doing it i wanted to keep it simple because you know she's 16 months old her attention span is it's not great <laughs> and then later on this afternoon we are heading to my mum's and we are having like a little pre Christmas get together. We actually popped into my mum's yesterday in the evening and her and her husband have a Christmas puzzle set out on their dining room table. And I got really into it. I just love a puzzle. And I haven't really done any this year. Oh, that's such a stupid thing to say. I'm literally trying to do one every day. I mean like a big one, you know, like one where it takes like hours and hours and hours and hours and there's like a few of you that kind of sit down for a bit and then the next day some more people join in. And it did inspire us to go and find, I'm pretty sure I have one somewhere that I never got around to doing, a puzzle and setting it out across the couple of days through Christmas for us and anyone that comes round to sit and do. So I'm definitely gonna try and hunt a puzzle down 
and put that somewhere maybe on the kitchen uh, maybe on the conservatory table it might be quite nice oh my god when alfie films a video he makes his own set he's just walked past me with a freaking massive house plant when you see his video just know that house plant doesn't normally live there <laughs> just know he has just walked hunched over carrying this heavy plant <laughs> to make his video look nice no i just wanted it's the background is very one color and i just wanted a little pop of green well i hope everyone appreciates the little pop of green Go over and drop a little comment saying, loved the pop of green. Loved that house plant. What a great addition. It's in a great location. It really made the video what it is. Anyway, the reason I spoke about the big puzzle was because that's going to be my plan, is to put the big puzzle out for everyone to, like, get involved in. Especially through the Crimbo Limbo time. You know, when it's, like, after Christmas but before New Year. Basically, crimbo my favourite type, Crimbo Limbo. I've never heard of that. Anna says Crimbo Limbo. The crimbo, that's great. Isn't it? Crimbo Limbo. I did steal that from Anna. It's a very good the saying. Crimbo Limbo. Um, during that time, which I think is my favourite time, like, of all year. I'm just stealing from your backdrop. Can you, what are you doing? <laughs> just on that pillow. Oh my God, you're filming a vlog intro. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> oh my god, guys. The effort this guy goes to when he has zero time. Zero time. And he's bringing house plants, moving cushions. This is so sporadic. I apologise already. This is because this we is have just... no time. We're both having to film at the same time. Well, he's literally start. Are you starting now while I'm still filming? Of course I'm not. Right. What was I going to say? I'd love to know. Literally, this is all I was going to say is I'd love to know what you do during Crimbo Limbo. Do you get puzzles out? Do you lay on the couch? Couch? The couch? Oh. Do you lay out on the sofa watching films, eating all the leftover cheese? Do you, I don't know, play games? What games do you play? I'd just like to know. Um, so that's a lot of things I've asked you here. I've asked you to comment if you're a silent watcher. I've asked what kind of watcher are you? Do you comment? Do you not? I've asked you what you do in Crimbo Limbo and I've probably just bored you to absolute tears. So if you are one of my new subscribers, you've probably now unsubscribed anyway. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave Alfie to film and I'm actually gonna head off to the shops because I wanna get some ingredients for me and Otty to bake for when she wakes up. So I'll see you in a bit. Sorry, I just, I knew you guys would wanna see what I was looking at. But come and look, come and have a little look on the screen. <laughs> see that just little gentle pop of green? Lovely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is wet. I think it's safe to say the snow is going. <laughs> it's, it's, the snow has been and gone and done. The rain is melting it so fast. Yeah, I would take snow over this any day. It's like dark and wet and disgusting. Are you okay? <laughs> Me and Poppy literally look like drowned rats. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, right, got the ingredients. Oh, can I head home Sing now? <laughs> can I head home now and get baking? I'm back and I well and truly got rained on. So I am turning on my straighteners and getting myself ready. It did actually remind me um, whilst I get ready for the little Christmas party this evening that my mum is doing. As you guys know, I work with Sky and have been sharing through Sky Cinema Club my favourite films and sharing with you what's available to watch, whether that is Sky Originals, which are always amazing, or just their extremely amazing and thoroughly impressive back catalogue of basically any film you could ever think of. It's tough to get through a film when you have a little one I have to say I feel like I watch like half an hour here half an hour there 20 minutes here while I'm getting ready you take it when you can but I really really enjoyed it and I wanted to share it with you because it is a festive film and I just feel like as I was saying earlier we've got the crimbo limbo coming up we've got those really nice like Christmassy days where you just want to sit down and watch something so it's called this is Christmas and it's about two people who commute on the same train with the same people every day it has real like cozy vibes i don't want to give too much of the film away all i will say though is it's just very feel good i love a christmas rom-com anyway i love the cast one thing that i liked about it is 
I'm not very good with like <laughs> stranger interactions. I'm not very good at just like striking up conversations and making friends with strangers or like people that you see a lot but you don't really ever speak to. And one person who is very good at that is Alfie. So I do feel a little inspired from this film to just get a bit more chatty. In fact, just now when I was in the shops, I got speaking to a lady about Strictly and it was quite cute. One thing I also wanted to share is if you are a Sky customer, but you don't have Sky Cinema as part of your package, Sky are giving a free gift of iconic Christmas films like Elf, Polar Express, you know, that's not my fave, but I know a lot of people do like that film. A Boy Called Christmas and many, many others will be available to watch via Sky Showcase. So even if you don't have Sky Cinema, you can still watch all of those Christmas films, which I think is lovely. So that's a really nice Christmas gift from Sky to you. I've had so much fun chatting films with Sky this year. There's been a lot of really good ones, a lot of great films, but you know, I've been a Sky customer for eight years, so I expected nothing less. Oh my God, I've just been speaking to you about this film and I haven't actually done my hair. That was the whole reason I came up here because I remembered I needed to get the frizz out. <laughs> before heading to this Christmas party because there's a Christmas party in the film. Okay, right. This is just gonna have to do because I don't have time. And Otty and I are gonna go and bake. Do you know what? This is just not, this is just not how I wanted to look today, but we're running out of time if I'm honest. I need to be at my mum's in like half an hour and it's just, it's not happening. <laughs> today has just completely run away with all of us, I think. I mean, the baking shouldn't take long. It's not really baking, it's more melting. Um, but yeah, she's awake now anyway, so we can head down and do that. If you're gonna be my little sous chef today, I thought you could put your little sous chef jacket on. Oh wow, you just wanna eat the marshmallows. Today, we are gonna be making chocolate. <gasps> oh goodness me, maybe just have some Rice Krispies. Christmas hat because you know we must protect all that hair you have okay so what we're gonna make are rice crispy Christmas puddings does that sound up your street look I've got you your own little utensils um, Otty is already eating all the marshmallows she does love a marshmallow the first thing we have to do is melt this butter yeah well you don't want to eat that we're going to pop that in the pan and we're just going to melt that so that's 50 grams of butter okay mummy will do the pans because they're very hot okay there you go oh that's very exciting isn't it yeah that's very exciting while mummy melts the butter would you mind putting some boiling water in here for me Al? Gonna give it a stir. Oh no, we don't wanna eat that. Oh, pop that back in, good girl. Can you mix it up? That's it. In this bowl, we have 200 grams of chocolate. We've got 150 grams of milk and 50 grams of dark. It says to mix the chocolate and the butter together, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I just worry that the chocolate will like do that horrible thing where it burns. And we don't have time for that today, do we? All she wants to do is eat. Do you want to eat some Rice Krispies? Look, mummy put them in this little bowl for you. <gasps> right, I think the chocolate's melted now. Oh, well, to be fair, the hat lasted a good while. Now, mummy needs to be very careful because this is very hot, but I'm gonna add the chocolate. You're not gonna like when we put those marshmallows in here, are you? Okay, now we put these, are you ready, Art? I'm really sorry, they're gonna go in here. Ready? Ready? <gasps> Whoa! And then we mix them up. <gasps> oh, are you off now, are you? See you later then. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I think these marshmallows need to melt. So we'll get the heat back on. Melt those. Sue Chef, I need your help. <laughs> She's gone, we've lost her. Right, I'm adding in the Rice Krispies. Ottilie? She's 
She's like, do you know what? If there's no marshmallows to eat, I don't want to know about it. Do you not care anymore? No? Well, yeah, for sure, but I need your help still. Look. Oh, you just want to see Dada. Well, that's no surprise. Do you want to come and help Mummy make these into a big ball? Tell you what, this is this is strenuous. This is an arm workout. We roll this into balls, obviously being careful because it's quite warm. Put your little Christmas hat back on. You gonna put it on there? Clever girl. Do you want to do this one? We'll roll it into a ball. And again. Ball. No, 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 no. Keep it on here. Don't Okay. Sue Chef, where are you off to now? Oh, are you off? Are you off? Okay. You sitting on it that way around? Okay. Do you care? No. <laughs> Will you want to eat all of them? Yes. Oh, bye. Bye. Gorgeous. Even these chocolate balls couldn't keep her here. She's got a lot of energy. Too much energy to bake. I think this is about as much as we're going to get done. We do need to leave. <laughs> But these need to also cool down. So I'm going to pop these in the fridge. And then once we get back, I'm going to finish them off. And I think maybe I'll finish them off on my own. Because my sous chef is useless. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in the fridge. And I will meet you back here a bit later on to do the top. Guys, I think these pyjamas might be some of my favourite Christmas pyjamas ever. <gasps> you got your book. Look at the collar. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're gonna open it. Tonight's book. Oops. Oh, this side. Here we go. Let mummy just help you get started. There you go. That's it. Clever girl. Woo! Oh! <gasps> the Christmas pine. Oh, this is all about Christmas tree, Otty. That looks lovely, doesn't it? We are home, as you just saw. Popped Otty to bed. And now I'm gonna finish these Rice crispy Christmas puddings, even if it kills me. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> it's not even that late, but they're nice and cool now. And although she didn't really do much helping, I'm sure Otty's gonna really enjoy these tomorrow. So I've just melted some white chocolate whilst I did a little tidy up of the kitchen and I'm just going to spoon some on the top of them. I'm fairly certain I've made these before. I'm sure I have for something. I think I did it for a YouTube video, you know. And then I bought some red Smarties. They didn't have any like holly. They did have Percy Pig sprinkles so they looked pretty damn good. So my original plan was to make these and take them over to my mum's. Um, but <laughs> we ran out of time. <laughs> Okay, I'm finished. They definitely don't really look like Christmas puddings. <laughs> but I'm sure they taste nice. I feel like I should try one. Let me try this little one. It's going to be quite hard because it's been in the fridge. Mmm. Nice jumper you got there. Thanks. <laughs> My fiance worked for me. Fiance! <laughs> Any of their hearts jumped. <laughs> Mine did. I'm, jo I'm joking. People looking in the comments are going to be like, Don, that's so that's mean. So mean. Waited, waited 10 years and you can't joke about that. Um, I didn't realise, and maybe I missed it, maybe it's a Wiltshire thing. Meatballs. <laughs> Festive meatballs. Look. I didn't know that's a thing. There was no green to use for the holly leaves. No. Look, Ottie did it, okay? <laughs> she actually really oh, did. No, she actually really didn't do um. anything. <laughs> she just ate marshmallows. It's interesting. 
Why would you go from the bottom and not take a bit of the white chocolate? Do you know what that is? Very delicious. Number one, that. Number two, that's dense. Mm. I think like, I need a bit quite, more chocolate. Normally they're quite light and like... Almost like I apart. think, I no, mean? but it's because it's been in the fridge. Mm, I like it. I... So I'm going to put them in Tupperware right, and leave right. them out. Oh, do you? Mm, mm. Do you like it? Mm. I could just... Bosh all of them. I could do like 10 in a row. Do you want some spaghetti with them? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm very impressed with these Percy Pig sprinkles. They taste really good. You know how normally sprinkles taste like nothing, just mm -hmm. like sugar, and they just kind of dissolve in your tongue. They actually taste nice. These these sprinkles and they're good colours. So I'm I'm actually very impressed with those. I'm on my second. Happy? Are you actually? Mm. Oh my god! I think I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we need to have dinner instead of eat these. <laughs> It's just my dinner. Yeah. Right, well, I'm off to bed, so mm -mm. do you enjoy, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You enjoy mm -mm. those? Right. <laughs> I'm telling you now, anyone watching this, if Zoe didn't have to vlog, she would be in bed an hour ago. Oh. This is the only thing that's keeping Zoe up in the evenings, is the vlog. We could have this for dinner. Well, she's left over lunch. Leftovers of what is lunch? No. Pesto pasta with veggies? No. I'll go on then. Cook up a little 45 minutes of Hello Fresh. Look at that um, M&S pie and don't tell me. No, no, no. The pie in the back and the second shelf up. Rustic potato, caramelised onion and brie. Should we have that? That sounds <laughs> like more of a dessert than that's not a main course. What day does it go off? That only serves two people. I thought legit, I thought that was going to serve Shall like we six. have that or should we save it and have it tomorrow night? Should we have that? No, I think that's more like a picky lunchtime, though. We can't have that as a main course, caramelised onion and brie pie. Can we not? <laughs> Why ever not? I mean, we could. 30 minutes. Nah, it's too late. I'm going to be asleep in 30 minutes. <laughs> Noodles, chicken noodles. Right guys, I'm ending the vlog here. We're gonna decide what we're having for dinner. I'm gonna go and take my makeup off and I'm gonna get into bed. But tomorrow, tomorrow is hair day. And as I mentioned way, way back at the beginning of Vlogmas, was it the beginning of Vlogmas? I feel like it was, where I chatted to you about my hair and how it's different now, but that the postpartum regrowth has grown back like totally different from my how my hair was before. Um, I'm actually going to get extensions. I'm getting extensions put back in. I'm also getting a Brazilian blow dry. And my friend Sam is coming over and Adam. I will film some of the process for you if you're interested. A little hair transformation. I'm very excited. I'm actually genuinely really excited. Don't get me wrong. I have loved having the short hair. And some days through this Vlogmas, I have almost changed my mind because I've been like oh on that day it actually looked all right but ultimately it just is just so much harder to maintain at this length with all the curl and all the frizz so we shall see I will see you tomorrow hope you've had a lovely wonderful 18th of December well when you're watching this it will be the 19th obviously and I'll see you very soon no I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> good night